Hi, I'm Terry from Terry B Fancy Crafts and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, an easel card, this easel card here. Um, it'll open up and then close like so. so. You've got the little stopper by there, but you'll see more of it as um, I go into the video. The items I've used to make it are these um, Garden Gifts uh, CD from Magic Graphics. I've used the Sweet Dixie Happy Birthday die and the Sweet Dixie um, Intricate Circular die. Okay, so um, give me a second and I'll get the camera down and we'll be away. Okay, so um, let's put the card together. Um, we've got, we've used these Sweet Dixie dies from um, this packet. It's the decorative circular frame dies. Um, you get three. As you can see, I haven't actually used that one. I've used this one to cut this circle out. There we go. And the big one to cut these circles out. And what I did with the card, I've put some photographs together um, so that you can see what I've um, done. Um, but basically, I cut it leaving the end going over there so that you've got a card like that. And then I've also cut out um, a happy birthday. And I've used oops, this Sweet Dixie happy birthday die. It's, um, it's happy birthday. There are a few of Sweet Dixies that say happy birthday. Um, this one's number is SDD. Three six zero. Um, they're both available on my website, both these and that, um, which is www.fantasycrafts.co.uk. Okay, so let's take these out of the way. So with the big one, I've cut the card out, as I said. I then cut another two. I cut another two out. And you'll see that one has been um, cut across the edge. Now to do that, I've literally turned the card over because it's going to go on the bottom. And although they should be exactly the same, that side and that side, um, this gives less margin for error. I put it on the back, lined it up, and then cut across from that way. I didn't use a knife in case I... Sort of accidentally cut the fold by there. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put this one onto here. Um, I've got some uh, Cosmic Shimmer glue, which I'm hoping will do the trick. I've been having trouble with this. Right, okay. So it's started. Um, just put a little bit around the edges. Just quickly. You can of course use um, one of the little bottles. Um, you will see by the side of me there, um, if you look closely, two cocktail sticks. And um, there is some acetate. Just in case all else fails, then I'm going to squeeze some onto the acetate and pick it up with a cocktail stick. But we seem to be doing okay. And then this is about all done. Spread that out in the middle. And I should got these out to begin with. What I've bought is some of these glue spreaders, which I find are brilliant and I can just spread it out quickly and 
and it does actually stop um, you having any bubbles on any paper that you've um, actually stuck down. Now the Cosmic Shimmer Glue isn't um, that easy to um, spread with these. I've actually been using some um, Colal glue um, which spreads a hell of a lot easier and it's great for getting around a straight edge so and that will just peel off after have fun peeling off okay so that's that done um, the light is I think a bit too light but this is like it's um, a light green so put that to one side and I've also scored along the middle there it uh, doesn't have to be exactly in the middle because we're going to make an easel card okay so um, it's just scoring along the middle of that so put that to one side for now and then we get on our other one and we're going to get this lovely picture that comes from let's see there in fact it should be um just bear with me i think i've learned how to there you go so you've got this um this lovely uh picture from magic graphics garden gifts which i've literally just um, taken and cut around. Uh, it's come from. If I just find it. Okay. There we go. It's cut off that sheet and it's just been printed out onto there and I've just cut it. So I'm going to actually layer these up and I've got some um, sticks uh, foam. Now these are pretty. Oops. These are pretty. Um, sizable as you can see um, but if I don't need them I like them in this size because if I don't need them that size then I can just cut them down I was actually going to say tell me if you can't see but um, that would be a bit difficult Let's see if I can go out a bit there we go okay the middle and right. okay <laughs> I used to uh putting it down like this because if you can't get these off um, if you just get a pokey tool and that should bring it off for you especially with the um, very small ones that I sometimes have problems with now if you need um, a little bit of time um, to find out where your um, top is going to sit just dab it with a bit of glue and that will then give you a little bit of time to actually stick it down and move it around a bit so that you can get it exactly where you want it okay so we've got a little bit of um, height on there now that is going to go straight on to my card here and it's going to um, just stick on like that so what I'm going to do is get some um, double sided tape and it's easier to actually put the tape on here of, and the glue rather than on this because you'll get it exact so I'm just going to put a bit of tape across here 
so I can hold it up there just to make sure that um, there's holding this is extra extra strong um, double sided tape and that's that's by sticks too some dabs around the edge of here just to make sure that sticks in all the little places that there we go not too much because we don't want it um, squeezing off the end I'm going to turn this to face me uh, take these off again if you can't get them off a pokey tool will do it for you so I'll show you just like that okay and I'm going to turn it to me because I'm bound to get it in the wrong places and again um, if you want to put a few blobs of glue on there so that it doesn't attach sort of before you're ready for it to um. hmm this one's not going it as easy there we go just gonna make sure that it's two okay um now this does look a bit white but it isn't white this is white um, this is actually a very pale green but um you'll have to take my word for that and what i'm going to do i'm going to use one of these as a stopper this is the smaller die that comes within those three so this needs some height so again we're going to use these um Pads. To look where I want the card. And again, you can use the glue to stick it down if you want to, but I know that it's pretty much going to go in the centre there. So, put that like that. And there we go. Okay. And to finish it off, I don't know if I want that raised or not. Nope, that looks fine. Again, let's take a little bit of that. There we go. I mean, you might want to use um, one of the smaller bottles that I have here. She doesn't want to play today. There you go. You see that? This is quicker. There you are, talk amongst yourselves. Because I'm concentrating. Um, just put the happy birthday there and there you have a very quick birthday card um now the theme is spring and it's come from um as i say magic graphics um garden gifts 
um, and um, I'll be doing a lot more of them. Um, in two weeks time on the 9th of April we've got um, Unicorn Day so um, in the group Terry's Creating Corner on Facebook we're all um, doing the doing a swap with each other or we're posting on the page uh, making it a lovely unicorn day of lots of colours. Hi, I hope you um, enjoyed that uh, tutorial on how to make the lovely card. It was a bit of a um, an abrupt ending, I know. Sorry about that. Um, right, I did talk in there about Unicorn Day. If if you're watching this on YouTube, then there's a possibility that you've already missed Unicorn Day um, for this year, which is the 9th of April. Um, we do often do uh, theme days and swaps, so if you are interested, um, just pop across to Terry's Creating Corner on Facebook. And if you were interested in making a card um, similar or using any of the um, items that I use there, they're all available on the website and that's at www fantasycrafts.co.uk. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.